Hello and welcome to today's Open Heavens Reflections. My name is Andrea Antuko and I co-pastor Chapel of Grace, um, a parish of the Redeemed Christian Church of God in Bradford, West Yorkshire, with my husband, Dr. Akbo Anduko. It's great to be with you today and I pray that you'll be blessed as you watch and listen in Jesus' name. Today's topic is turning onlookers into helpers. Turning onlookers into helpers. Our Bible passage today is Exodus 12, 35 to 36. Now, the children of Israel had done according to the word of Moses, and they had asked from the Egyptians articles of silver, articles of gold and clothing. And the Lord had given the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians, so that they granted them what they requested. Thus they plundered the Egyptians. A memory verse is Exodus 12, 36. And the Lord had given the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians, so that they granted them what they requested. Thus they plundered the Egyptians. God will give you favor today in Jesus' name. When God decides to favor a people, an individual or a nation, he can turn situations around for their good in a way they have never imagined. The children of Israel had labored in Egypt under severe and oppressive conditions. They had worked without compensation or appreciation. Their welfare did not matter in Egypt and they had no rights whatsoever. When the Lord remembered them, everything changed for them. I have a word for you from the Lord today, that the Lord has remembered you. Your life is turning around for the best in the name of Jesus. Everything and everyone who had oppressed you before now will be looking for the way to be your helpers in the name of Jesus. In the case of the children of Israel, Moses, under the instruction of the Lord, told them to go and borrow from their neighbors for their journey. Their neighbors were, were really their slave masters. They had been serving as slaves for 400 years in the nation of Israel. So I'm sure that those people now would wonder what gave the Israelites the audacity to come to them to ask for anything. After all, they would still see them as slaves. How can a slave go and ask for anything? Because that had not happened for about 400 years. You know, the, the grandparents, the grandchildren, the children and all the generations for 400 years had known the Israelites as slaves. And now the slaves were asking for something they'd never asked for. I pray today for you that the Lord will grant you unusual boldness this season to confront your oppressors and demand for your entitlement in the name of Jesus. Remember that the, the Israelites had gone into Egypt by legitimate means at the time of Joseph, but as the new Pharaoh came, they became slaves. And so their entitlement, they were just taking back what was already theirs. All you need to do is to obey the voice of the Lord. Don't be afraid. The Lord will go ahead of you in the name of Jesus. Finally, when they took the items from their neighbors, their neighbors did not even care whether they returned those items or not. They were happy to see them go and they give them what they wanted. Everyone laboring under the weight of debt today shall receive a reprieve in the name of Jesus. The Pharaoh who debarred them from going told them to go and also to pray for him also. He didn't just say, okay, go, I've had enough of you. He said, pray for me. And that was because he saw that their God was the true God. I don't know who um, has been against you, but after today, in the name of Jesus, they will come to you for prayer because they will respect the God that you serve. Do you have some serious needs in terms of kingdom business that you are doing? The Lord will send you unusual helpers at this time in the name of Jesus. Those who were mere onlookers before will turn to become your helpers in the name of Jesus. There are two things at work in the life of the children of Israel. The first was their time of deliverance had come. And secondly, the Lord favored them. Your time of deliverance from any oppression you are facing has come in the name of Jesus. Secondly, your time of favor has also come in the name of Jesus. This season, people known or unknown to you will rise up and help you in the name of Jesus. I hope you've been saying amen because I know that all that is needed is your faith 
If you believe what God says, then that settles it and it will be done. Our action point today is a prayer and it says, Father, by your favor on me today, make everyone who was unwilling to help me become restless until they help me reach my goal. Let that be your prayer today. Pray for God's favor and use the Israelites as an example and believe and stand on the word of God and they will help you to reach your goal in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for watching today. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.